about the internet of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. Moving the whole revolution forward. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, do, do you own crypto and any Bitcoin or Ethereum? Would you play around with this? I, I do. Yeah, I think it's reasonable to own it as a as a part of a diversified portfolio. And I'm not giving anybody uh, investment advice, by the way. <laughs> when when did you get interested in it? Uh, I've been interested in it for a while. And uh, I've, you know, been researching it and 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 so forth. And so uh, I think it's interesting. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Turn for Our Script. Let's get right into today's video. As you guys heard, Tim Cook talk about how he owns crypto. And when he was asked, when did you get interested in it? He says a while ago. Folks, a lot of billionaires out there, high reputable individuals, have diversified into crypto. And in 2023, if you're not into crypto, you're going to miss one of the most explosive transfer of wealth in human mankind history okay there's gonna be a massive wealth transfer and it has been occurring for the past years what do i mean by that accumulation folks the amount of digital assets that individuals have accumulated over time just know the smart ones are packing their bags and there's only a limited amount of these the price of xrp reaching to triple digits is gonna happen with certainty and in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how it's going to be achieved on a very basic scale okay you're going to understand this perfectly we're going to refer to warren buffett as well okay he invested into coca-cola back in 1988 that is 34 years ago folks Imagine holding on to XRP 34 years ago. Coca-Cola is nothing but poison to your body, okay? And this is how these individuals made money off of this. Remember, they used to put cocaine in it. And over 302,000 hours, it went from $2.77 to $62.78. Okay, that's 34 years. That's 5,000% in gains. This is just to show you that patience pays off. And in this generation with blockchain and the whole financial system changing, these 5,000% gains are going to be minuscule. Okay, these are nothing. What the crypto sector is going to expect, okay, on the small scale is 100x, okay? the whole crypto market itself. So that's $100 trillion on the lowest end, folks. Okay, yesterday's video, you guys heard we covered all the money, okay, majority of it. Well, take a look at this breakdown. How it would work. Keep in mind, XRP is for cross-border payments, FX. That's where they're gonna just start. It The ideas are endless. You could even hear it from Brad Garlinghouse and Naveen Gupta right here. So the Brock Rowling House video is from 2021 and Naveen Gupta is 2020, okay? Remember, Bitcoin was under a dollar. Ethereum was under a dollar. XRP has not seen a full throttle utility what? driven market cap, okay? And market cap doesn't exist for Ripple and its digital asset XRP. It just doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It, it's, it's utility. Okay, throw market cap out the window. It is endless. The price, the market cap that XRP could reach is crazy, folks. Okay, because we're talking about moving value around. So take a listen to this. You mentioned there are other potential applications of Ripple's technology beyond cross-border payments. What are some of those um, applications and use cases that you're exploring? I'm not going to give away everything that we're working on, but you know, like, the, way I was, the way I think about this is that any transaction that has a middleman, any transaction that requires someone to kind of commute the trust between the, the, 
within the transaction with security settlement, insurance settlements. Uh, I think this is a key differentiator about Ripple, and that's the reason we are a monoline company. Every day we get tens of ideas to say, why don't you do security settlement? Why don't you work in trade finance? Why don't you do X, Y, Z? And what we tell them is, um, just cross-border remittances is $155 trillion problem. We'll solve this first. We'll make a difference to everybody who's present in this room. And once we have made the difference, then only we will look at something else. And now getting back into how it would work. So in the centerpiece, we have XRP, okay? One XRP, 87 cents. Okay, just a little bit higher than right now. And on the left-hand side, you guys see other currencies valued at different uh, values, right? So we have the Canadian dollar at dollar twenty-seven, AUS dollar thirty-seven, Euro one hundred nine, New Zealand one forty-seven, the Mexican peso twenty-one hundred one. Just to give you guys a rough idea, so all those currencies going through XRP, okay. Take a look at that. So we have $323 in Canadian converted to XRP getting switched over, okay? This is the conversion part, it's playing. Imagine this on a mega scale. This is just one, two, three, four, five, six, six payments, folks, six payments. And in total, it would have utilized 53 million XRP just to move $53 million. The daily FX market is eight trillion. The daily FX market is eight trillion. And I'm gonna break this down to you exactly like, like it's, it's, it's a baby, okay? A baby is gonna understand how XRP is gonna increase over time and how the price uh, and the circulating supply is very low. We know that total XRP held by Ripple is about 5.6 billion. Total distributed right now, right now is about 56 billion XRP and 44, billion XRP is in Ripple's escrow. Also keep in mind, the higher the value for XRP, the bigger payments that you could do. So it's potentially is, is better. So higher price for XRP, better for the overall infrastructure. And now, take a listen to this folks. Let's say XRP was at $5.20. Bottom left corner, we have the total value being moved and that's 229 million. That would utilize 44 million XRP, okay, valued at $5.20. Now let's go over to 1.2 billion. One XRP, $5.20. Total XRP being utilized in this matter is 236 million. Okay, that's fine. We got 100 billion. That's not, and by, Keep in mind that this is only 1.2 billion. Now let's get on to 9.2 billion. XRP would be utilizing 1.8 billion, okay? 1.8 billion XRP being utilized when you're moving around 9.2 billion. XRP at $5.20. And as you can see, all these transactions, right? 760K, 146,000 uh, XRP. And this is just one thing, folks, just, just payments, just moving value from one to another, FX, very small. Now we are reaching $21 billion and 4.1 billion XRP would be utilized. Okay, now let's get on to 30 billion. 30 billion and 5.8 billion XRP being utilized. Now let's get on to 500 billion. This is just where it breaks. 500 billion of value being moved would utilize 97 billion XRP. And keep in mind, folks, there's a 100 billion XRP. Corporations are gonna be holding on to XRP. There isn't a lot of XRP out there. Just based off of this, now you know where I'm going with this, right? 500 billion total value would utilize 97 billion XRP. It's just not sustainable at $5.20. Okay, that's where, that's where I'm gonna stop it. This is where I'm gonna end the video. If you could connect the next you know, dots in your head on how the price is gonna increase, absolutely, and then the value will go up for the price of XRP, the more transactions you could do. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
This is just a basic layer. Anybody could understand this. This has got to be, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Share this video to someone that thinks XRP is not going to go to, you know, a hundred dollars because it will, it will. It's just a matter of time. It's not if. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with another episode. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.